In this demonstration, we're going to use Key Creator to build the model that you see on the screen. We're going to use a hybrid approach, meaning that we're going to use surfaces and solids in one environment. First, we're going to start off by building the midsole shape. To do this, we're using the Mesh command, which allows you to pick multiple sections, and each section can also have multiple curves. There's no limit to the amount of curves per section. Again, using the mesh command, now we're going to build the inside part of the midsole. Again, going through the different curves. Now to do the remaining, the toe and the heel area, we're going to use a cover command. So instead of just revolving a shape around, the cover command allows you to have areas that are tangent or areas that are non-tangent and instead of building a degenerate surface meaning that in this case the two endpoints would collapse it builds a mathematically correct four-sided shape so if you untrim it you can see it is a four-sided surface you can use the same covering command for the back part or the heel area Now we'll finish off the midsole shape by just closing off the bottom using a rolled surface. Now we're going to stitch that into a solid body. The reason we're doing that is because we want to add filler at the bottom, we also want to trim the bottom. So instead of doing multiple trims or multiple fillets we can do everything at one time so first we're going to trim off the main shape with that dotted magenta curve since now it's one body you can just pick the solid pick the curve or curves that you want to trim to and pick the side that you want to keep does all the trimming automatically for you now let's add a variable filler across the bottom edge since again it is a solid now all we have to do is pick one area of the fillet or the edge and in this case we're using a variable fillet we're going to go from two millimeters in the front to fifty millimeters in the heel and then back to two millimeters in the front again again it'll trim everything up for you it'll make sure everything's tangent So now let's say we want to change the design a little bit in the heel area. Just like a minute ago we turned this into a solid, we can also turn the faces of the solid back into surfaces. So first we're going to unstitch certain areas of the model, turn them back into surfaces, and we're going to trim them with that black dotted line. Now let's go back and close that area back up first. We're just going to build a flat surface across the heel area. Next, I say we want to blend the back portion. So we can pick an area. Let's say that's is just boundary constraint. Next, we want to put a tangent constraint at the bottom.
and you can see it blends from the bottom all the way to the top area and it's tangent at the bottom now we have an opening with multiple sides so again we're going to use the cover command to fill that area in so in this case we're going to pick the outside shape that we want to be tangent to and we also going to use a center section you can use one or multiple center sections you can also use points now quickly cover that area for you all in one shot now that we finished the back here we're going to turn the solid back into or we're going to turn the model back into a whole solid by stitching it back into one closed object.